Muladhara, the root chakra, has been coming up a lot lately in the circles I'm in right now. So I wanted to talk about why it's so important to make sure that you are just as connected to your other chakras and especially your root chakra as, as it is to be connected to your third eye, for instance. You know, there's so much um, emphasis placed on the third eye, but all of your chakras are important and your root chakra, especially to have a good, healthy connection and a good, clear root chakra is very important. And in, in so many ways, and this, this isn't even just a spiritual thing, like, all of our chakras connect to emotions and things that we go through on a daily basis, things that affect us on a daily basis. And so that's why I felt like it was so important today to share with you why, why it's so important to make sure that you are working with all of your chakras equally. Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to another video. I'm Ann Black with your Silicon Valley Sage Sister here to bring consciousness to the forefront of your daily life to make life a little kinder and simpler. Now, I want you to think, you know, we're talking about chakras, but right now I want you to think about the concept of foundations, a foundation of a house, um, you know, the legs of a stool, or a chair and just how important it is to have a sturdy foundation to anything, anything. If your foundation is messed up at all, whatever's on top is gonna wobble. Today, for instance, I was on a ladder because for the last couple of days, I have been doing um, a little bit of work for a neighbor for some extra money and you know, today being able to find a good place to put that ladder on this rocky pavement or the, um, you know, section that I was working in that had like these big chunks of gravel, you know, <laughs> you learn really quick when you get on anything you're trying to be seated on or standing on how important a stable foundation is because otherwise you're gonna wobble and possibly fall off and hurt yourself. This is how I want you to think about it when it comes to your root chakra and why it's so important to make sure that you are working with your chakras equally and evenly and especially making sure that your, your root chakra is taken care of. Our, our root chakras on a practical level are connected to our sense of it being safe to be here, it, it being that we're meant to be here, you know, that, that, that sense of, I just, I, I don't even know why I'm alive. That comes from an unhealthy root chakra in that sense, that you have an unhealthy foundation when it comes to your mind, body, and spirit, soul. It's, it's really important to make sure on a spiritual level and on a psycholog psychological <laughs> level that you work with the foundations of who you are to make sure that they're sturdy and stable because they support everything else above them. So, you know, you can have, you know, an amazingly, um, <laughs> how do I want to put this? Um, you know, you can, you can work on your third eye chakra all day long, all day long. 
all day long. But if the other chakras aren't, aren't taken care of, aren't tended to, then being that awake and in tune is going to come off more like uh, being psychotic. It's going to come off more as like being crazy than it is going to come across as attunement, alignment, or wisdom. Um, <laughs> I've been there. Trust me. And I work with a lot of people who, you know, they're like, I just, I don't know what's going on, man. I'm trying to connect with my third eye and it just feels like, ah. And I'm like, well, <laughs> have you made sure that everything else below it is, you know, clean, clear, and stable? And they're like, no. I'm like, well, there you go, you know, because it's a system. It's all systems. They all work together, connect together, affect each other. And so that's why I talk about the Holy Trinity of health. When I talk about what I do with people, when it comes to my one-on-one -on -one clients, because mind, body, and spirit are all interconnected that, and they make up as a whole, our, our human health system systems so you know if one's out of balance it doesn't matter how balanced the other ones are you're still gonna feel out of balance same goes for the for your chakras you know you're you're never going to be able to truly feel the power of your heart chakra you're never gonna be able to truly feel the power of your third eye chakra you're never gonna truly have a clean and clear crown chakra unless all the other chakras are clean, clear, and in alignment. So that's, that's part of it. The other part of it is that our root chakra really is connected to the 3D part of us. It is what grounds us. It's connected to the earth and it, that as again, a system, you know, is connected to our body. We are, earth our human bodies you know and we may be spirits having a temporary human experience but there's that human experience part that so many people are trying to escape from by connecting to the spirit part but that's not that's not how it works you know it's again their their polarities working and balanced together the spirit and the human and so being in touch with and in tune with your um, power that your root chakra has to connect you to the 3D world and keep you rooted and grounded will help you do anything else you wanna do just by simply making sure that that's taken care of first. I talk about this in terms of foundations, period. You know, you, you wanna ha make sure you've got that healthy foundation, otherwise it doesn't matter what you build on top of it. <laughs> That's gonna all fall over and crumble very quickly if the foundation isn't solid, no matter what it is. And I wanna remind people too, that like our crown chakra, our root chakra is an opening. So when it comes to our energy flow, you know, you want to have what we call in the Karo tradition, Sami energy, which is free flowing energy. Gosh, darn it. I didn't think it was that close to nine o'clock. I let my alarm go off. <laughs> no. I have a nine o'clock alarm set to let me know that it is past peak hours for the electricity bill so that I can plug in the electric car and run the dishwasher. <laughs> it would probably uh, also be there to remind me to do the laundry, but we don't have a washing machine or dryer in the apartment. Uh, so there's that. <laughs> so anybody wondering <laughs> who's watched other videos where I'm like, my alarm. I have a 9 p.m. alarm set on my phone <laughs> to let me know that it's peak hours are over for the electricity bill. Ah. <laughs>
the life as a human being. Anyway, as I was saying, in the Kara tradition, we have what we call Sami energy, free-flowing energy, because we don't deal in positives or negatives or goods and bads when it comes to energy in the Kara tradition. It's either Sami, free-flowing, or it's Hucha, dense and stuck. And so if you want to have that good Sami free-flowing energy because in its totality, your chakras create a column that end up being able to become your, oh, don't tell me I'm going to forget this word right now. <laughs> anyway, the word's not important. <laughs> you know, through us, we are a channel. And so you have the crown chakra, which is technically an opening. You have the root chakra, which is technically an opening. And then you have this column that runs through you. And so you want your energy to be Sami, free flowing, rather than Huja, dense and stuck. And in order to be able to have anything be free flowing, you have to have openings <laughs> for things to flow through. And then you want a clear channel from the openings. So it's important to recognize and remember this. <clears throat> it's one of the reasons why, you know, I don't believe in just one religion or any because they all come together <laughs> and basically teach us uh, all the same thing if you're really willing to pay attention um, to what they have in common rather than pay attention to what their differences are. Uh, but yeah, so... This is, this is why it's so important to make sure that you're working with all of your, your chakras evenly because <clears throat> if one is blocked, if one has hucha energy sitting in it, then like a river, you know, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be a dam. So all of a sudden you have this energy pouring in downwards or upwards, um, and then it's going to get dammed up and it's not going to be able to get through. And then, you know, you're going to feel that. Imagine how weird that would feel if, you know, you've got this stuff built up inside of you that's like, oh, trying to get out. Um, especially if you're inviting it in, you know, you're trying to invite in good energy and just nothing feels like it. <laughs> it's working out. And that's because somewhere along that pathway, your energy is getting stuck. <clears throat> and turning into hooch energy, even though you're you're inviting in the positive energy, uh, because it's getting blocked up, it needs to be able to flow through you, not just come into you. Uh, you know that's <clears throat> how the cycle of abundance works. In general, for anything, you know it's a cycle, and so if you don't, if you're not giving and you're only receiving that's gonna feel funky if you're only, wait, which one? Whoa, I just had a brain fart there. I'm gonna start over. If you're only giving and not receiving, that's gonna feel funky because you're gonna feel empty. If you're only receiving and not giving, that's gonna feel funky because you're too full. Um, you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's life. It's the circle of life. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the cycle of life. Either way. We, we want to be aware of this in our lives in general. Because at the end of the day, if we allow ourselves to get too caught up in one area, no matter how much we think we're at a deficit in that area, eventually we're gonna be overflowing in that area. And if that doesn't have anywhere to go, it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a detriment to us rather than a good thing. And 
you know, it's, it's a sad state of affairs when we find ourselves overflowing with positive energy that we can't appreciate because we, we have a block in one place. And, and so we find ourselves drowning in it, miserable, even though it's good, good energy. I said positive, didn't I? I'm trying not to do that. <laughs> it's important not to do that because positive energy is different than good or bad energy. Um, well, I guess really either applies here. So I guess never mind. Um, I meant to say good, but positive energy applies here too, because we can get too much positive energy, not good energy, positive energy, think like electricity. And if we have too much positive, positive energy and not enough negative energy or nowhere for that positive energy to go, then we're going to feel out of balance just as if we have good energy. You know, you can be drowning in so much goodness that because there's no outlet for it, you're literally drowning in it <laughs> rather than swimming with joy in it. So, yeah. I just want everybody to keep this in mind that when it comes to life in general, there's, there's a healthy balance that we need to maintain by making sure that all of our systems are taken care of and not just put too much focus onto one or another. Otherwise, we're gonna be like, well, I'm, doing, I'm doing all the things, why don't I feel good? And it's, it's because, yeah, your, your cup's full over here, but your cup's so full over here that it's overflowing and it's getting, you know, the tablecloth wet when you could have had some of that in here and some of that in here. And then you, you know, some in the cup. Here. This isn't a good metaphor. Ignore that. I don't know. I don't have a good metaphor for it. I wish I did. <laughs> But that one wasn't working out the way I wanted it to because I want to keep my metaphors consistent. And when I use the cup metaphor, I talk about, you know, you've got to have an overflowing cup to be able to give to others. Um, so I don't want to all of a sudden start making an overflowing cup metaphor a bad thing also. I don't want to get um, contradictory in that way with you guys. So, yeah. Anyway, point being... making sure that all of your systems are taken care of is important. Um, let's, let's, let's try to use this as, as an example. Um, A few moments later. I don't know. I don't have a good metaphor <laughs> for it at the moment. I really don't. <laughs> oh well. Thank you guys for joining me for another video. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. May the energies you serve serve you well. And let's keep making our way through. I am. So I know you can too.